The jury came forward with some questions, but so far no verdict after day one of deliberations are complete in the Jennifer Crumbly case. Thanks for joining us here for the News at 5. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Pamela Osborne in for Devin Skilly and the jury making it clear it will be thorough in deciding on those four counts of involuntary manslaughter against the mother of the Oxford school shooter. Sean Lay live at the Oakland County Courthouse for us tonight with expert insight on those deliberations and the questions the jury asked today, Sean. Let's get right to it. Pamela just came out of the courtroom to meet you right here. And look, the judge told the jury maybe sleeping on it overnight tonight. They'll come to a verdict sometime tomorrow. I looked at every one of the 12 jurors. They look engaged, do not look tired whatsoever. They want to keep going. However, in the morning, what's going on in that jury room? The two questions they had to ask uh, the judge today. I asked a longtime a judge who's now retired, Vonda Evans. She has some interesting insights that really give us a peek into that jury room. If anybody is going to get the benefit of the doubt, it's going to be the mom. Vonda Evans spent 22 years on the bench as a Third Circuit judge in Wayne County, presiding over a long list of high profile trials. Evans tells us this jury may be looking at Jennifer Crumley not as a defendant, but as a mother. Many times, jurors feel sorry for people, and they tend to feel sorry many times for women, especially if they were not the ones that pulled the trigger. Mom basically said, this is dad's thing. He's the one that got the gun. I don't know anything about it. Based on my recall, the gun was secured. The bullets were separate. So what she's doing is basically blaming dad. This jury deliberating since 10 this morning and asking the judge if they should consider the fact that prosecutors did not call the shooter to testify. The answer was no, but it shows the jury is looking at everything. What's going on in that jury room? Let me tell you something about jurors. They take their responsibility seriously. These are people that you have to give a crash course in all the law you've learned for the last 20 years. And so what they want to do, they want to go over everything. They're going to ask for readbacks. Why? Because what they want to do is say, oh, on page li line three, page six, it's this, this. And what you have to do as a judge, it can't be trial by transcript. They're going to go over everything. But at the same time, they're bringing their experiences, their own life experiences. So much to consider. The first question the jury asked today was about involuntary manslaughter. That was handled very carefully. But Judge Vonda Evans says what it, the questions show is that this jury is trying to be, she says, like most juries, get it perfect. And she says there's no such thing. They need to get it within a reasonable doubt. There's no such thing as beyond any doubt. They have to consider all of that information. And uh, a lot of times uh, juries get emotional because there's a person right there in front of them. Their lives are in the balance. And so they're going to take their time and get it absolutely correct. Guys, back to you. All right, Sean, thank you. When there is a verdict, we will bring it to you on all our platforms. Stay tuned to Local 4, Local 4 Plus, and click on Detroit.com. We'll bring you our next scheduled update at 6 o'clock.